uh, I'm a kind of guy who likes to challenge uh, some popular beliefs, some, some mantras, some slogans that we often adopt without really giving it a thought. They are very popular in religions, for example, but also in real life where we just pick up some sayings from an old person in the past or a journalist or an infamous person and they will repeat that one without thinking about it. Now, the one I want to talk about today is the fact or the statements that money does not make happiness or money does not buy happiness. Uh, I was trying to do a French translation. And I kind of disagree with that at too many levels. First of all, let's start with the, uh, the basic needs, what we call the, on the hierarchy of, um, of needs, of Maslow hierarchy, the ones at the bottom of the pyramid, which is food, shelter, and private clothing. Now, we know that when you're hungry, as I say, an angry man is a hungry man, a hungry man is an angry man. When you're hungry, you cannot be happy, definitely. And we know that food costs money, so somehow food buys you, uh, money buys you food, and you move from a state of hunger, which also could be a state of anger, to a state of not hungry and improve definitely on your mood, so your happiness, generally speaking. I, uh, I'm yet to see a person who is hungry, starving, and, uh, and, and praising and enjoying life. Same with the shelter. Uh, obviously, when you go on the streets of Los Angeles or Cape Town, Johannesburg, to Manila, wherever you go, you will find people on the street and you will be tempted to believe that some of them are happy because probably they are high on drugs or high on cheap liquor, they are smiling and they're, and they're high-fiving each other. But in reality, you wouldn't be really happy in the cold or in the heat or just sleeping on the rough uh, on the street. So somehow money can buy you a shelter and to me, I don't know about you, I would be super happy if you were to move me from the street to a shelter or from a leaking house to a warm house. So definitely money does buy those things that makes people happy, that make people happy, generally speaking. And that goes with the clothing. I think by clothing also we include sort of the necessities of life, clothing, uh, soap, uh, a toothbrush, a pair of shoes. Uh, what actually makes life as a whole are the things we use to improve our life, to make our life a bit more convenient and so forth and so on. And that convenience improves our happiness, generally speaking, and will come to the exceptions and, and the disclaimers later on. So on that basic alone we can see how generally happy uh, money can make you happy or make us happy. Then we go to another very important aspect of our life which is the health and as you know if you have got a pain anyhow or you are unhealthy it will be hard to be happy and granted you can argue that um, you can be rich and unhealthy that's definitely possible you can still get sick even if you're rich, but um, it makes a lot of a difference if you can afford a dental care, dental checkups in general, uh, now and then, if there was a tooth decay, be able to fix it as soon as uh, it is seen before it gets rotten and falls off, and uh, if you could afford the double checks of your sugar levels and all other vitals to make sure if you got a pre-diabetic condition is treated as, as quickly as possible and all other things that kind of will make your life a lot less miserable if they were prevented from happening or treated if they did happen or you've got some sort of attenuation if they cannot be treated then uh, generally speaking to keep yourself healthy it kind of cost especially if you're in big cities most of the time junk food costs less than healthy food you go into a supermarket you realize that bread costs from one dollar to ten dollars one dollar being probably the unhealthy bread and ten dollars being the healthiest bread so money buys you buying you a bit of healthy body that's definitely a, a sign of happiness 
when you are healthy nobody is happy when they have got an egg or are suffering one way or another physically speaking so that's the health side but we can also add i don't know being able to, to get a massage being able to get a therapist if you've got some sort of depression or stressing moments being able to i don't know to go to a therapist as i was saying and to go to the gym and all these things with that add up to making your overall health good and speaking of actually stress and mental health most of the time things that cause stress and mental health are really linked with the money and the work and speaking of work um, if you have got enough money you could just walk away from a toxic work environment and you can go sit home and wait until not wait but apply for a job and you get the one you need you don't have to take the first job that come, comes along you don't have to deal with all the bosses bs if you don't like it uh, that could occur a few money you basically being able to tell the boss to a four for if you think you don't like that particular work environment all those things kind of add up to your happiness and they sort of requires a certain level of uh, comfort, uh, financial comfort. And that's just not work. That could be a lot of other situations where you kind of bound to stay there because we are kind of, we can't afford to move. That could be um, in a country, there are people who live in a country that are really oppressive. The borders are open, but they cannot move to another country. Even buying a passport is quite of a pain. So they kind of endure that depressing environment because they cannot move um, financially speaking so that's uh, really how i do think that basically money can buy us a lot of things that make us happy does making us happy and that could be happy in general like a satisfaction enough but also this burst and um, moments of happiness that kind of keep us a bit and um, not depressed to being going to a sport, to a movie theater, to an entertainment park, to uh, take a trip to certain uh, exotic places. It's not necessarily going to make you happy overall, but as you add the moments of happiness, I do believe that you feel a lot better than if you were in a depressive environment or in a jail or in a hospital. Uh, so. To me, I don't exactly know where this problem comes from. I don't know exactly who came up with this idea that man doesn't buy happiness and why we actually embrace it and repeat it. Okay, but Tim, that to me, if I was given a context, I would probably understand. But for this moment, what I've been given it doesn't satisfy me the thing that, oh, you see, rich people are also depressed, also unhappy and all of that. I don't think so. I see rich people like going to holidays, dancing all around, sleeping in fancy hotels, deciding on what to do, even in our own lives. And they grant there are a few of them that are unhappy, but they would probably be more depressed and more unhappy if they didn't have that sort of money. So uh, maybe there's a sort of a genetic disposition to unhappiness and the money cannot undo that. But the part that's not genetic, definitely money will make a lot of difference to that. And uh, the question I will also ask, if money doesn't make happiness, then what does? You know? And you could come up with your families, mm, yeah, but if you are a family and you are broke, it's going to probably cause some sort of strife. In actual fact, in many cities, what's happening now in, in the West is that people in big cities, um, young people, excuse me, young people are not getting married. They're not having families. Because it's super expensive to raise kids, it's super expensive to find a decent house to raise a family. So people in China, in Japan, in Korea, in the United States, in France, in England, in New Zealand, in Australia, they are not getting married, got getting children, making children, even if they wanted to, because they we need a place for them to stay. And that has become super expensive to, to do these days, plus all the costs associated with raising children. So even a family, then they need money can buy you a family, which, well, 
it's just the term but that's what it is i mean if you can get married or get children because you don't have the money that means they cost and if you get them you didn't buy them like you buy clothes but money did buy that sort of position to be able to have children and that if that's what you said to make us happy then definitely money is involved in being able to decide to make children to have a family and being able to sustain that family and uh, other people come with come up with well health i mentioned it is it, 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 a lot of people that there's, there's a reason why a lot of expectancies um, are higher in developing countries than the poor countries health wise this is why the mortality rate of children is is higher in, in uh, poor countries than, than in rich countries and nobody is happy to lose their children nobody is happy to be uh, on a cemetery every three years or so when there was a baby born so uh, those, those are things i i do really believe that generally speaking the uh, the whole mantra is is a flawed in many ways okay i could go on and on but i shouldn't go too long so if you know any if you've got any disagreement or you can give me a plausible explanation Please feel free to comment in the section below. Otherwise, uh, please uh, like, comment, and uh, share the video. Ah, don't forget to subscribe. I'm looking for a lot of subscribers. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.